Today's episode is massive. The first match is absolutely huge. It's a top of the table clash against Feyenoord, and my dudes, it is damn close. <laughs> to 200 is it's it's making progress right we're at 194 i checked today we got six more subs so that being said if you haven't subbed go ahead click that button down below my dudes we're sitting top of the table but fan Nord have two matches in hand and we only have a three-point lead we line up against them first today so need need to do good but the only issue with that is We've got people still on international break. They should be back the day before the matchup. So depending on their fitness, we may be, may be full. We may be having our full rotation. We may have our full side back. That would be fantastic. After that, though, we do have a quarterfinal in the Dutch Cup that we don't know who we're playing just yet. But that, that that's about to change. The draw is today. So let's go ahead and get it started off and see who we get. Okay, so I really don't want Ajax. Really don't want Ajax. Okay, we get Ajax. Yeah, well, un uh, un unfortunately, we we haven't got all of our players back. They're still on international duty. Uh, Alves, Sammy, Tejon, Castro, and Cardenas. All these guys are typical starters for us. And uh, the frustrating thing is that they're all on their under-23 side. But that being said, I, I do believe it's because of the Olympics. That's why they're... Uh, they're all there. So it's a little bit frustrating because we are going up against such a good side today and we're without so many key players. Oh no, I don't like how this highlight has started. It, it was from a corner kick that we defended well, but then turned the ball over immediately in our own half. And now Feyenoord looking to get a goal here early on in this match. We were without so many key players. Lucky for us, we win the ball back. Donk is there, plays us to a volley. All the way back up to our backup goalkeeper, Erhard. Oh man, this is this is difficult. And the left wing is an issue. The right wing is an issue in this one as well because we're having to play Lucas on the left-hand side because Garcia and Sammy are both out. Rabitsky, Rabitsky in the back of the net, 11th of the season prim. As I was saying, both of our left wing players are out. Amon's not ready for this match. Right wing, we're without uh, Hop. He's not ready for this matchup. We're without Lucas because he's playing on the left-hand side. And then uh, we have Emerson, who's more of a defensive player. So... Yeah, not exactly what I want out of our wings today. But hey, hey, a 1-0 lead is exactly what I want. And it's just one of those things like like you hope that Feyenoord is going through the same issues that we're going through with that international break. It needs to end. Well, it's been a slow match in terms of highlights, but we are up 1-0. I'm going to go ahead and make two changes. Uh, Owen, you're going to come on. I know you're a little bit anxious, but you're you're our best option at number 10 besides Duncan. He is, he's getting a little bit tired. Chavaria having a really poor match. Co Anders coming on for him, also another anxious player. We've got, got quite a few of those guys. All right, third and final change. Mike Snow is coming off, and uh, I kind of wanted to play Seal, but he's anxious, so we're going to go ahead and give it to Frank, the new guy. Mm. Okay, I don't like... I don't like the highlight starting this late in the match, you know, especially after changes. We win the ball back. Aliti clears it all the way up, looking for Rubitsky. He can't get to it. Now the attack again from Feyenoord. We need to not shut off Aliti out wide covering. He's hitting to the box. Avali does a good job rising there. Owen, bad, bad header there. Didn't like that. Frank with the tackle. This is a little bit chaotic in the box right now. Avali with a hard tackle. Lucky for us, no pin, and that is out for a goal kick. It's a corner kick for Feyenoord. Time is running out. Owen clears it. He gets up to Emerson, who plays it back to Frank, who plays it long. Lucas, is he's got a ton of space. He's got all the space in the world. Just use your pace, buddy. He gets past the goal keep. That settles this match 2-0 now. Lucas is seventh of the season. Frank on the assist. Oh, this one's massive, guys. I mean, because the match is in hand. Feyenoord... If they get the right results, they'll end up jumping us in the league. But this right here really helps keeping them pushed back just a little bit. Hopefully we can maintain this lead in the top of the league. That'd be fantastic. Frank takes a shot from distance. He's having a good match. Test is the goal keep there. Uh, no corner, though. Hey, di I did not expect a 2-0 victory with this much rotation in the side due to that dang international break. And see, here's the frustrating thing. It was uh, jumped down to three players. So those guys must have won. And now that international break goes all the way up to Maastricht. So another tough one upcoming. Well, it's time for that matchup against Maastricht. We've rotated the side quite a bit. And I do think this is the final matchup, though, where we're without a lot of our key players. We take a 1-0 lead here early on, and, and you guys know. I'm, I'm going to miss a goal every now and then, it seems like, in every episode. Chavaria plays a beautiful ball into Hop, who gets his head on it for his... 
fifth of the season, I believe. This guy's really developing into a solid player. Let's actually take a look at Hop. We haven't looked at him in quite some time. I know he's only a two-star player right now, four and a half star potential, but his he's growing. Like he's he's starting to get better. And look at his value already. So I think I think this guy is definitely going to be somebody that might work his way into the starting lineup at some point during this save. Maastricht looked to get back into this match, and we need to do a decent job of defending here. A volley. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, let's get a goal back right now. Right now, after allowing one. A volley shouldn't have went for that tackle. That That's what caused that goal for us. A little bit of mispositioning there, and, and it just didn't work out for him. Hot plays it to Owen. Owen over to Rubitsky. He's got Overby. Overby's taken down hard. No call. Okay, okay, good tackle, good tackle. Now Maastricht looking to rebuild here and get something started here on their own. And uh, we, we do a decent job of winning that ball. Falls to Garcia, who turns it over immediately after winning it. Nice job by him. Need to upgrade the left wing position. Definitely need to upgrade it. I think Almon might be the, the answer to that, though. Owen, out wide, taken down as well. This one, this one's going to VAR. I'm going to let Overby take this to try putting us up 2-1. Okay, shouldn't have let him try. That that sucks. That sucks. A miss pin. And the thing about it is, is Overby's good at pin. He was fired up as well, so I thought it was a great decision for him to take it. Obviously not, though. Rabitsky on the ball, plays it out wide to hop back to Owen, and we look to go down this right-hand side. Emerson, a more attacking fullback today on the pitch. Frank now looked good in the last match. Need him to do good in this one as well. Holds it up, plays it back to Aliti, who's out wide again to Emerson. Okay, okay. Seems like we're overloading that right-hand side. Garcia now. Garcia now, fourth of the season. Frank has another assist, 2-1. Back-to-back matches with Frank having an assist. This guy is uh, starting to say, hey, I need to play a little bit more. I mean, 3-1 before halftime would be fantastic. Garcia looking for the brace. Hits the dink. Could have done better than that. Could have done better. We have a free kick from a pretty dang good spot here. And it's Owen to take. And it's Owen. Uh, good try, man. Good try. Good try. We've had some opportunities in this match that I thought we could have done better with. Hopefully we get another goal here. Chavaria out wide. We've been down the right-hand side quite a bit in this match. We're on the left now. Ovale plays it to Frank. He's got one assist. Can he do something here? Plays it back to Aliti. Now we're on the right-hand side where we've been at most of this match, it seems like. Frank playing it up to Rubitsky. Can't quite find him. And now Maastricht have settled on the ball. Hop looking to win it back for us. Can't quite get it done. Aliti rises to the occasion. Wins it back for us. Now, now it's back to the center backs. Time to rebuild. Recycle. Look for something here. Frank plays a long ball out to Garcia. He keeps it alive somehow. Overby now to Frank. Overby takes a shot from distance. It just seems like Maastricht is just playing hoofball. Like, that's that's really the only thing they're doing in this match. And uh, it's it's working out for him. It's working out for him. Okay, Erhard, Erhard with a beautiful save there. Owen sends this into the box. Hop takes a shot. Pretty sure he's off sides here, though. But hey, maybe I'm wrong. Nope, I wasn't wrong. So I'm making our first changes. Overby's coming off. Vance coming on for him. He's on a card. That, that's the main reason why he played, I think, most of the match in the last one. So making that change there. And then, then I think we're just going to roll with that for right now. See if somebody else gets tired. Counterattack here by Maastricht. We're doing a decent job of forcing this out wide. Doing a real good job of it, actually. Frank done, Frank done fantastic defensive work there. Hop plays it quickly to Rubitsky. This is a good opportunity. He's in a ton of space. Get <laughs> I feel like we've got a high XG. I feel like we've got a high XG. I haven't looked at it, but it, it kind of feels that way after this, these couple of highlights. It seems like we've missed quite a few of our chances, though. Hops out wide. Just waiting for this highlight to end, really. Frank now on the ball. Brings it down. This is this is dangerous. Okay, never mind. Yeah, we've got a pretty high XG of, of three right now, so we deserve another goal. We just haven't quite found it yet. About to make some changes, though. I think Hop's coming off. He's getting a little bit on the tired side. Lucas had a break today. That's good. Getting him some rest. And then... Then I don't know what I want to do. I would kind of like to bring... Let's do that. Let's do that. See how that works out. Try to secure up the defense a little bit for these final couple minutes of the match. There we have it. A 2-1 victory over Maastricht. And I'm, I'm thrilled to see Hop score. I think this guy is definitely a guy that needs to be playing a little bit more. Deadline day. There has been some action that has happened. And you see one of them right there. We end up selling Dunk to Leipzig for 22.5. And uh, the main reason why is he's a good player. Don't get me wrong. Donk is a very solid player. But I want a shadow striker, and he's 
that's not really his strong point. You know, he's not got the greatest of finishing. So he sold him for 22.5. And then I bring in Villa here, uh, a three-star player, four-and-a-half-star potential on loan for Man United. Uh, that's a good strato, shadow striker. His finishing's up to 17, long shots of 10. I think this guy is really going to make a big impact for us. And uh, the reason why we made this move is, like, I, I kind of want to push forward with the club. And I think we're going to have to do some of these loan deals like this to get some of these top-level players in. The good news is, is we finally, finally are back to our full strength. I'm a little bit worried about Cardenas. He picked up an injury. Uh, should be good to go, though. So he's going to get to start today. Villa getting his debut because uh, Owen picked up an injury. He's a little bit sick. Got the flu. Going to be out for four more days. Uh, Vance comes into the lineup as well. So I I'm, I'm thrilled with this lineup today. I'm, I'm really, really intrigued to see what this kid right here can do, though. You guys don't know how good it feels to have Tejon back in goal. He is so good compared to the rest of our goal keeps. Uh, that being said, I do think Erhard definitely has potential. He, he held up on his own. He only had a couple bad matches, I feel like. Villa, first touch for him. Running out wide with it. Gets past his defender. Does a good job. Takes a good shot there as well. We didn't have that with Dunk. It is out for a corner kick. It's going to be a Lucas to send it in. Yep. Okay, so here he is. And he just settles on it. Plays it into the box. Nobody pressures him and does a great job. It's a corner kick. Lucas descended into the box. Ovale's there, brings it down, plays it all the way back to Sammy. It's up to Vance now, looking for 2 0. He buries it, hit for his first of the season. Sammy on the assist. Lovely stuff. I feel like Villa is, is like huge progress for us. He's, he definitely fits our tactic better than Donk. So we may start doing that a little bit more. May start doing that a little bit more because I, I've mentioned it before. Transfers are getting tougher and tougher to come by, especially when you're just signing 18 year old players or younger. Uh, unless they're trained in the nation. Castro plays it to Snow. Janssen on the ball. Holds it up. Looks quickly for Lucas. Plays it to Villa. Villa's got another good opportunity to get a goal in his debut. Ta challenges the goal keep. Somehow does not go out for a corner kick. Well, the match started off very high paced. It's settled down since then. Cardenas plays it to Lucas. Looking for 3-0 here. He brings it out wide. Plays it to Villa. Villa deserves a goal. He deserves one. He, I mean, he's been, he's been by far our best player today. It seems like 3-0. He gets a goal on his debut. I just made two changes. Forgot to show them. Uh, Rubitsky comes on for Cardenas. He, he was sick, so just giving him an early day today, and then Amon coming on for Sammy. He was getting a little bit tired out there, so that's the only reason for that change. Felt like we're comfortable as well, so uh, a good opportunity for the young lad. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tejon, beautiful save by him. Alves brings it down and moves it quickly up to Amon. Does the highlight end? Okay. I'm looking for our final change here, and, and it's between two guys really i'd like to move okay please please get where i want you okay there we go so i'm looking at frank coming in decent decent I, I like this kid by the way he's been really good for us so far uh him and then seal that's the two that i'm looking at i'm gonna roll with frank for a place of villa uh just to secure up the defense again Keep the clean sheet. That's what I want to do now. That's definitely what I want to do. Out more, though. They want to get a goal back. They, they feel like they've been embarrassed out here, and, and they kind of have, haven't they? Tejon with a good save there. Once again, doesn't really challenge him, though. I'm going to be real with you guys. If, if Villa keeps playing like that, this season is going to be fantastic. Well, there's been quite a bit of squad rotation for this quarterfinal of the Dutch Cup against Ajax. Well, it's time for our first actual highlight of this match. It's, it's been a slow burn. We're not playing bad, just not really good either. Villa on the ball, plays it to Vance. Vance shoots, forces a save out of the goal keep. It is a corner kick for Castro to send in and, uh, mm -hmm. yep, just safely in the goal keeps hand. Sammy has settled on this ball, plays it into hot. We've got a good opportunity, guys. Mm. Okay, okay. I thought I didn't think it was going to amount to anything. Villa with his second of the season, scoring in back-to-back -back matches in his first two matches, 1-0 now. Well, it's still a close match, guys, and Ajax on the attack now. Nice tackle by Castro there, going hard. Sammy has made a run here. Good opportunity, 2-0. Tenth of the season, Hop's on the assist. That's, that's, this has been a great match for Hop. I mean, let's just, let's just look at this again. That was beautifully placed we've made two fitness changes emerson coming on seal coming on castro off and vance off seal plays it out wide villa's made a good run here good opportunity for him to get on a brace he's taken down penalty given and the decision is no pin that's that's disappointing 
Ajax looking to get one here. They 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 got a, they, they've been better in the second half. I will say that about them. Okay, hitting to the box, good block by Avali. Avali's turning into a really good player, and it's hard for me to take him off the pitch. It's a good opportunity for Ajax here. Just a free run into the box. That's not a good attempt. Not a good attempt there. A fantastic result here. Two nil over Ajax with a very much rotated side. And I've got to say, Hop, Hop's still kind of my new favorite player. I, I just really thoroughly enjoy watching him play. Uh, but I also wanted to point out Avali. We haven't looked at him in a while. I, I mentioned that this guy's just turning into a guy that I can't take off the pitch. And another one of these players that is really developing pretty dang good. Time to find out who we're playing in the semifinal of the Dutch Cup. Almere City, that's that's the one I want. That is it. I don't want Feyenoord. Don't want Feyenoord. God dang it. It's time for that final matchup of the episode. Uh, called up a youth prospect that's a number 10. That might be a third choice for us. I uh, really liked how you looked, and I want to play him some today. I think he's on the ball here. We've just won it. Seal plays it up to Owen. Seal now goes long. Overby's made a decent run here. He's got support coming late, but he hits the dink third of the season. Seal on the assist. One nil. Seal plays it over to Aliti now, who holds it up, plays it back to Seal. It's getting for 2-0. It's carried on for a little bit. Bad ball by Overby. Trying to squeeze one in there to Sammy and just can't quite pick him out. We need to win this back. We need to win this back. Okay, Tejon doesn't have to worry about that. Well, we're building through the middle. Owen plays it to Overby. Out wide. God dang, Sammy's made a run here that I've just absolutely missed. 11th of the season for him, over beyond the assist. We'll take a look at the replay. I just struggling right through the commentary. It was it was pretty poor. Really bad. Really bad. Uh, I, I was kind of surprised it ended up being a goal here. He somehow, I thought the tackle had him. That's what it was. I thought the tackle would have got him, but it doesn't. And it leads to 2-0. I, I think I'm going to end up making a halftime change. I think we're going to take Cardenas off. Picked up a little bit of a knock in his fitness. Hasn't went up. It's nothing that I'm worried about. Like, it doesn't have the injured symbol, but just notice that his fitness has dropped. All right, so I'm, I am going to make that change. Rabitsky coming on. That's, that's, that's a typical change for us. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm in a little bit of a, a tough situation. I want to play Villa because I want to try something out with him and Rabitsky. But then I also want to play the new guy. This one's, this one's a little bit tough because it's only a two-goal lead. It's 65th minute right now, so I got to. I got to play the, uh, I got to play Villa. It just seems like that would have been a good opportunity to play that new kid. I just, I couldn't pull the trigger. Couldn't pull it. It's too close. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's about to be closer, ain't it? Tehan, Tehan saves us once again. We're about to make our final two changes of the match. Just got to get through this highlight first and not, not allow anything, uh, if obviously if, if something does change i'll probably change who i'm bringing on seal plays it to overby hop doesn't run hop just doesn't run my favorite guy he just gives up on the ball there it seems like a volley wins it back for us villa on it plays it to seal hop now in possession back to seal sammy's out wide gives chase to it can he play it into anybody he looks for hop i think hop just completely missed that didn't he go, go back and check i'm, I'm like 95 percent sure hop didn't even touch the ball Rabitsky's made a good run. Rabitsky plays it out wide. Hop gives chase to it. I want to see him do something in these final couple minutes because I'm about to take him off. Overby, Sammy, sells it. Okay, so I made our third and final change. Hops came off for a Lucas. I don't know. I think I should like this match a little bit more than what I do. We have a decent XG. We look good on the stats. It's just that one goal that kind of disappoints me. Well, Owen, you asked to take a look at the records, and here they are. Uh, there's a couple of our players that's got a couple of them. Uh, Grownbeck, highest average rating. Mike Snow, youngest player. Fleming has both goals by a player in a match, in a league match, and a regular match. Uh, Tejon with the most shutouts. Swole was one of the guys we loaned in, I think, from Juventus. Uh, most assists by a player in a season. And then uh, Venema has the most player of the match awards in a season. So we've definitely left our impact here at NAC. Before we get out of here, I do want to bring up something to you guys. So I don't think with our recruitment plan right now, where we only sign players that can become trained in nation, is going to ever amount to us winning a Champions League. I think that's, that's just a fact. So what I'm going to propose is kind of like with our launch, right? We, we can sign three of them each season that are players um, 23 and under, right? That way we're not getting like overwhelmed with new like players that just can't become trained in nation. It's kind of a balance, I feel like, but at least makes us take a step forward in winning the Champions League and 
having a great end of this save. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this episode, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment down below. And as always, my dudes, thank you for watching.